Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you another meal prep. This is my second week doing a meal prep for myself. For me as a busy mom, it has been saving me because I oftentimes don't eat enough during the day and then I'm crabby and then I eat way too much junk in the evening. So by doing this one day a week, it's truly helping me to be able to have a breakfast and a lunch and a snack even a dessert, I'm sharing with you a healthy dessert today or kind of healthy dessert, but I am doing all of this to help myself and I hope that it helps you too. If you are on the go, if you're busy and working and you need some healthy meals to bring with you. So I hope that you all enjoy this video and I will leave all of the recipes, ingredients, all that down below in the description box. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you at the end of the video. Okay, so for this first meal, I am making tuna salad. I'm making this for lunch, but it could also be used as a snack, and I'm pretty sure I ended up using this as a snack whenever I got hungry, but wasn't gonna eat a meal. Um, but I'm using these tuna packets. I actually had these in my pantry and really needed to use them. I like to mix the lemon pepper and the regular tuna together. It tastes really good that way. And I am gonna put some mayonnaise. I know mayonnaise is fattening, um, but it has no sugar. And I'm putting some dill relish in here. So mostly what I'm trying to do is um, limit my sugar intake. And so I don't mind the mayonnaise. It's really not that much in the grand scheme of the whole um, recipe, but I'm giving this a good mix together. And then I have some boiled eggs that I made a couple of days ago um, we have chicken so we have lots of eggs so my kids really like boiled eggs and so do I so I'm cutting these up really really small and gonna put this in my tuna salad for some extra protein and just to make it a little bit thicker and then after I give this a good mix I'm gonna put a little bit of mustard um, just because I really like mustard and then some salt and pepper. And if you wanna put like paprika or any other seasonings you can, but this is gonna be a little snack for me to eat with some crackers or by itself or maybe with some toast. I am making overnight oats again this week. I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing as last week. I'm doing the sugar-free vanilla sweetener. I'm doing half a cup of oats, half a cup of almond milk unsweetened. I'm going to put some cinnamon and then some Chobani Greek yogurt with no flavoring. And then I'm gonna do some peanut butter powder and do some peanut butter oats. And these turned out good. I did put a little bit of banana in them and I'm gonna just tell you right now, don't do banana and overnight oats because the bananas turn really brown and they don't taste good. So I'm doing peanut butter and after I made these, I wished I would have put more peanut butter. You could do regular peanut butter, but the peanut butter powder was way easier to mix in. But it's really simple. All you do is mix this all together, close the lid, give it a good shake and put it in your fridge. And then you can eat these for some really easy oatmeal in the morning. Song on, I put my feet up and 
we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here together if i could stop the time don't you know that i would cause i'm just loving for my lunch this week, I'm doing something super simple. So I'm doing frozen chicken breast with taco seasoning. I'm actually adding some pico de gallo and I'm just gonna let this cook on high for four hours until the chicken is completely done. And I'm gonna shred it up really easily. And that's gonna be like my main part of my dish. And then I'm gonna add some pinto beans and corn into my dish and I'm not gonna cook them now. What I will do when I am ready to eat this is to throw this in the microwave for one minute and then I'm going to mix everything together in the larger side of the meal prep container and then add sour cream. Y'all, this was so good. You can just eat it with a fork. You could eat it with chips. Chips, you know, really aren't that healthy. So in moderation, but so so good just to eat and it was really really filling And I've had a sweet tooth. Y'all know that I have a sweet tooth. And I actually found this recipe on TikTok and I thought I would give it a try. It turned out really yummy even though I modified it. So basically you're going to use sugar-free whipped cream and sugar-free chocolate pudding and mix it together. And then you're going to add yogurt, which I did not have the cookies and cream yogurt and so I didn't add it at first but then I thought you know what I have vanilla yogurt so I added vanilla yogurt and some Oreo thins and this was so good my kids loved it I loved it it's just like a good little treat if you need something it's definitely not the healthiest but it is really low sugar if you want to try it Thanks so much for watching everybody. I really hope that you'll like these recipes. I am trying to do a good job of changing them up every week for y'all so that you're not seeing the same stuff. I will see y'all next time. Bye everybody.